Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend collective tarot reading session for Libra. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. Okay. This leaving for today. This is for the Libra sign. This is for the Libra friends out there. Let us see what is happening towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for the Libra sign, okay? Before I start, guys, I would like to thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This reading for today, this is a weekend reading. <clears throat> We will pick up love, career, finance, and general situation for you, Libra. What can I get for Libra, please? What is the weekend reading for Libra? <laughs> okay. All right. You've got the Five of Swords. You've got the Prince of Swords. You've got the Justice card your libra card and you got the prince of pentacles okay let's see what's coming towards you you have the five of swords so you're dealing with someone i feel like there's someone somebody that you are confused you caught them with something okay let me just lay down all of these cards okay okay mm, wow one one nine nine it's interesting and seven the tower card hmm seven and the five of swords again you have a lot of repeating numbers libra seven seven yeah seven seven nine nine one one five five this is a very relationship reading you've got the six of swords the Queen of Swords, the Five of Cups. Okay, let's start your reading. Um, so you started up with the Five of Swords in here, Libra. Um, I feel like you're dealing with someone who is caught in the act. You know, the Five of Swords. Um, this is being deceitful. This is being. You'll find out soon about somebody's motive. Okay. You have a clue. You have an idea, you have a clue that this person is not being honest with you. They're not being, they've done some, you've, you've felt intuitively that this person, uh, they've done not so nice things um, towards you. Um, you put them on the, like they throw you in the bus for some of you. It could be an office situation. I would say you're confused why this person is because you've got an ace of wands and ace of swords in here you know i really feel like this person is jealous it could be a female um but there's someone who's you know there are the, there are some days that they're very friendly flirty loving exciting like very moody this you know it could be a situation at home or in your work but with the ace of swords in here you can really confirm that this person is i would say like it's a hard because when they are in the good mood you guys get along you know it's hot and cold situation but more importantly with the ace of swords it's hard to deal with someone who has a very um you know they they tend like a bipolar energy you know you know in the morning they were so nice and in the evening they were moody or cruel so what you're coming into conclusion in here is in the next couple of days or weeks or months ace of swords you will have to accept or you're accepting that this person's attitude energy is hot and cold and that is something that you cannot control as much as you would like to be nice and polite and diplomatic about this person you have to set boundary 
with this person. Yeah, because you have been a victim of their hot and cold energy. So Ace of Swords, you will learn how to deal with them by setting boundaries with this person. Okay? Could be at home, at work situation. Yeah. Now, the next reading is you've got the Prince of Swords. So this is a message. So there is a message that would come to you in the next couple of days. Uh, this person, they're very tired. I don't know, but the Page of Swords is a very quick call, but honest. A short message, but honest. Um, it's cold, but it's honest. Um, I would say there's more to it than the message. So, because you, you got in here the Nine of Wands. Because it's impersonal, it's written in text. I would say you would, the way you feel towards the message is you might undermine it. You might not, you might, you might not take it seriously or you're guarded the way you reply, you respond to this person. Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups. I would say this person is not really a conversationalist. They're not a conversationalist or they're not very good when it comes to starting the conversation. But Nine of Cups in here, it means that there's a lot of things that they would like to share with you, to connect with you. There's a lot of stuff that... I would say good vibes that they would like to share. But the beginning part of this is where you're confused. Okay. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. The Sun card. The World card of World of One. So there's someone who would message you in the next couple of days. And I will not blame you, Libra, if somehow you will judge them. Um, because the way they message you is, for example, hello or hi. The message is short and you know it's it, it's a person who you need to ask uh like <laughs> to make a conversation with this person is you need to be creative like impromptu like prompt question but it's it's a person who would mess i feel like it's a lover but they would say hi they will make the move call or text and then one once you and this person goes to being comfortable com comfortable again or warm up i would say it's it's a reading where you would get a message don't judge it right away okay you would get a message um if you feel replying reply but don't judge it don't judge the person based on that one line message because if you will connect with them and if you talk to them you would be amazed of how much they miss you on like this this person will ask you a lot of questions how's things with you blah 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 so you would notice that okay this person definitely missed me because they have a lot of questions but they're interested with me they're just waiting for me to react you know so it's kind of testing the water so if you reply they might not text so if they will text you and then if you reply they might not respond to your text but mind you after two hours once they're free they will call you then that would be the story. You know, they would have a lot of questions of wanting to find out how's things with you. So they're very interested. So don't judge a person, something like that. It's kind of telling you, don't judge them with the, <coughs> sorry, with the message. There's so much story that they would like to connect. Could also be a dating or a getting to know situation. Now the next reading is you've got Justice card, the Tower card, the Seven of Wands, the Five of Swords. I would say this is really karma, okay? So this is a romantic situation. Oh my God, this is heavy. I'm really hearing the word burn in hell. <laughs> so justice card, the tower card. So seven of wands, five of swords. You have an ex, okay? Or someone you dated, they will have karma, okay? You did not wish for them to have this. But something will happen that this person, you come to know that this person is experiencing this karma. Yeah. Could be they cheated on you. And now they text you or call you and tell you, 
oh, you know this, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Ace of Cups. And now they offer you love, you know. <laughs> Ace of Cups, Four of Cups. Someone is wanting to reach out or connect with you. And it's about love. And now they're having a karma. And they want you back. You know, karma. Someone is going to experience karma because they did bad things to you. And now they're kind of connecting with you emotionally. Okay? And then the last reading is you've got the Prince of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Oh, no. I think, okay, this is a continu continuation of the story. So, this ex or past person, they will connect with you. And they really want you back and start all over again with you. However, with the Prince of Pentacles, I feel like this is you. You have already moved on with them. And I feel like you're dating already. For some of you, this is still story. You know, it could be, you know, but I feel like it could be a continuation. So for some of you, this will happen very soon. For some of you, it will happen pretty much this year, you know, um, that this ex of yours, they would come back and you are already smitten with somebody else. And that's a big karma to them that they let you go. Yeah. It's pretty big. Six of Swords, Queen of Wands. Like, this is you telling the person, I'm sorry, I am already in a relationship. Look at that. You say it in their face. You even answer the phone. Oh, really? Oh, poor you. I'm sorry. I cannot help you. I'm already in a relationship. So, the... Like their eyes is burning. Like they wanted to cry, you know. Anyhow, this is your reading, Libra. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.